welcome to the Changes to the Team episode for Game Week 22. Before we get on to the team selection for the upcoming game week, let's take a look at the points scored in Game Week 21. Lee Grant and Cedric Suarez each conceded just the one goal in their respective fixtures to narrowly miss out on clean sheet points. George Friend was restored to the starting lineup for Middlesbrough's nil-nil draw with Watford, so he picked up six points. The standout performer in defence this week though was clearly Marcus Alonso, who scored two goals and kept hold of his clean sheet in Chelsea's 3-0 win over Leicester to return a huge 21 points. In midfield, Eden Hazard provided the assist for Chelsea's opening goal, but still looked a little bit shy in terms of his own goal-scoring potential, failing to take a single shot throughout the game. Alexis Sanchez delivered once again as captain. He benefited from Giroud's injury by moving to a more advanced role after the Frenchman was substituted. Christian Eriksen provided two assists for the third time in the last four game weeks during his team's 4-0 win over West Brom. The Spurs midfielder provided a total of four attempted assists during the game and took two attempts on goal. As for the forwards, Harry Kane rewarded the managers that kept faith in him with a hat-trick against West Brom. He's now returned six goals and one assist during the last four game weeks. It was another quiet week for Christian Benteke, who failed to register a single attempt on goal during Crystal Palace's 3-0 defeat to West Ham. Finally, the informs Latan Ibrahimovic delivered once again with his sixth goal in six Premier League games as Man United rescued a point against Liverpool with a one-all draw. So it's a huge green arrow this week, a rise of almost 200,000 places, which leaves us with a current rank of 168k. So after a really poor start, things are finally starting to return to normal and there's plenty of time to improve the rank further. So now let's look ahead to game week 22. With two free transfers saved, there will definitely be a change or two, but the issue is freeing up the cash to make the necessary upgrades. Christian Benteke is one of the weaker players within the squad, but the only way to upgrade him to the likes of Jermaine Defoe or Romelu Lukaku would be to make a downgrade elsewhere. In theory, Eden Hazard could be the man to go, on current form, but with a home game against Hull in game week 22, it seems a huge risk to lose him this week. So it may be a case of simply using a free transfer to downgrade Etienne Capoue to a cheaper fifth midfielder, with a view to using two free transfers to sell Hazard and Benteke next game week. However, Philip Coutinho is another exciting option. He'll be pushing for his first start since recovering from injury when Liverpool hosts Swansea this weekend. There is currently the exact cash available to sell Capoue, Hazard and Benteke and replace them with Darun, Coutinho and Lukaku for a four-point hit. So there's still a lot to consider in terms of transfers this week. If you have any thoughts on what transfers you think should be made, feel free to make suggestions in the comments below. And be sure to follow FPL Tips on Twitter for updates and confirmation of transfers once they've been decided. So here's how the rest of the team is shaping up this game week. Lee Grant starts in goal ahead of Eldin Jakupovic. Neither have particularly great fixtures, but Stoke have the home advantage. In defence, there is a bit of a dilemma this week, with four of the five defenders offering reasonable potential. For now, Cedric Suarez gets the nod over George Friend, as Southampton host a Leicester side that have failed to score in their last two games. Middlesbrough are up against a West Ham side that secured a 3-0 win over Crystal Palace last game week. For captaincy this week, Eden Hazard will be a fairly popular option, despite his lack of goal threat in recent weeks. The Chelsea midfielder has scored just once during his last seven games, but a home game against Hull could be the time to improve that record. A slightly more informed option looks to be Alexis Sanchez, ahead of Arsenal's home fixture against Burnley. Deciding between the two of them may largely depend on the availability of Olivier Giroud and Diego Costa. If either of those are unavailable, we would likely see Hazard or Sanchez taking up a striker role. As always, be sure to follow FPL Tips on Twitter for the confirmed team and captaincy selection. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video.